Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing. We will now have the presentation of our national colors by our Cahokia High School JRTC Color Guard. We will then have the singing of the national anthem by Ramona Sykes, followed by the singing of Lift Every Voice and Sing by our Cahokia Fine Arts Assemble. This will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing until the Color Guard has departed the area.
We will now have the recitement of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance Good evening. I'm Anson Mitchell, administrator at Cahokia High School. It is with great honor I welcome you to Cahokia High School's graduation for the class of 2023. And before I go any further, I would like to recognize distinguished guests from the mayor's office. We have Demario Ham Sr. From the district office, we have Assistant Superintendent Curtis McCall, Jr. and Superintendent Dr. Arnett Harvey. I would also like to recognize past and current board members who are here in attendance. Next, I would like to congratulate the class of 2023 And this is a major milestone for you all as far as high school graduation and becoming a CHS alumni. This accomplishment did not come without sacrifice from them and their support system. We, reckon, real, we realize their support system may have come in many, with many titles, mom, dad, aunts, uncle, grandparents, mentors, teachers, administrators, and so on. We would like to recognize and give a round of applause to the support system for the class of 2023. <laughs> Finally, again, I would like to recognize the class of 2023 and congratulate you guys on your perseverance and grit that you have shown to be here today. Again, welcome and enjoy the graduation. <laughs> At this time, I would like to turn it over to our MCs for tonight, Mr. Keyshawn Campbell, and, and Ms. Haley Tucker. Good evening, how y'all doing? Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Now, please help me welcome Jamorian Mitchell for a senior class president address, followed by 10th grade principal Juan Hayes, who will introduce our superintendent. Good evening, administrators, teachers, friends, family members, and fellow graduates. Between COVID, random quarantines, protests, and plenty of fun times, I honestly don't know where to start. Running for a student council, senior volleyball night, and going to my senior prom are a few memorable moments for me. I will forever rem remember the many successes of my classmates, including those who have signed to universities such as Mizzou, McKendree, and Alabama, as well as lighting the candles at the NHS ceremony or the first day of senior year when our friend Nino joined us again at school. <laughs> Life is filled with a tremendous amount of uncertainty. You can try to prepare for every eventuality, but that doesn't mean you are truly ready, for, for ready because life can always throw you curveballs. Nino, we are very proud of you and the success you have made. So you have showed perseverance and determination. We love you and we'll always be here for you. <laughs> to our teachers, thank you all for dedicating every day to the betterment of our education. Teachers such as Ms. Kime, Ms. Inner, Ms. Jenkins, 
Ms. Terry, and many more have made our high school career memorable. To our parents and family, thank you for picking us up when we were down, for giving us pride and confidence in ourselves, for all you sacrificed in our lives to get us to this point, for teaching us what a good person is, and for being a role model. This is as much as your graduation and as it is ours. To the class of 2023, I have a quote that I wanted to share. You are about to start the greatest improvisation of all, with no script, no idea what's going to happen, often with people and places you have never seen before, and you are not in control. So say yes, and if you are lucky, you will find people who will say yes back. To the class of 2023, do what makes you happy. Don't live for others. Your happiness is your greatest treasure. We all have abrogations, but I'm going to get to give you guys another one. Live, cry, love, break down, make progress, fall, and get back up. But in all, keep fighting. I'm going to end off with one more quote. What lies behind us and what lies before us are all small matters compared to what lies within us. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Good evening, everyone. I have the same pleasure of introducing Dr. Arnett Harvey. Dr. Arnett Harvey is a graduate of Vashon High School. He attended Tennessee State University. He graduated from Washington University in St. Louis with his bachelor's, master in economics and his executive MBA. He achieved doctoral status at Western Illinois University along with earning a superintendent endorsement. He is a product of our community and believes in education and believes education is a door opener for all opportunities and growth for the future. Dr. Harvey started his career in finance and banking. He worked as a controller for Centier Bank in downtown St. Louis. He then embarked upon a career in school business. He started as a junior accountant in the Parkway School District then went on to become chief financial officer in the Edwardsville School District for five years before finally making Cahokia his home. Dr. Arnett Harvey has served over 30 years in school business, of which 25 of those years have been in the Cahokia School District as the CFO and now as the superintendent. Class of 2023 and everyone in attendance, please give a warm welcome to our superintendent, Dr. Arnett Harvey. Good evening again, parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, family and friends, and also our class of 2023. It's obvious, just hearing what Juan said, and I appreciate the nice words, but the journey that's ending today is starting a new one tomorrow. Believe me, it's a long road, but you guys have what it takes to persevere, to succeed, be successful beyond your dreams. So I won't prolong this because I know we wanna see our 2023 graduates cross this stage and start the rest of that journey. So have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harvey. We appreciate your work and support. Now we were, from, now we were here from Cahokia's High School, salutatorian Chase Crawford, followed by a charge from Principal Mr. Tate. Good evening, CHS. I'm grateful to be here speaking with you all today. 
It is an honor to be standing here at the podium before my class of the salutatorian of the class of 2023. Over the last four years, I have found myself returning to the same message that always held me. Let the wind blow you where you were meant to be. This means that, ta that take life one step at a time. And if you're trying to do something and you fail, keep trying to take, get it. Failure is just step, six, step to success. As LeBron James someone said, you can't be afraid to fail. It's the only way you succeed. I'm not gonna succeed all the time, and I know that. Over the course of my high school career, I failed, succeeded, learned, and grown over and over again. But at the end of the day, I am grateful for everything that happened because it shaped me to be the man I am today. One of the lessons I learned in high school came from one of my football coaches. He once told, told the team that you are a reflection of your friends because if you have clowns in your circle, then you get caught up with them and now you're in the circus. So my advice to any incoming freshman is make sure you have a good group of fans that you trust and love. Find people that motivate you and push you to do your best. I am grateful that I have found my group of people, so I would like to thank all my family, friends, my beautiful girlfriend, and teachers who have helped me along the way. I walked into Cahokia High School in 2019 as a freshman, not knowing much about the world. Now I am walking out of Cahokia High School knowing much about this world, and I know that I will keep learning more and more as I continue my journey. After high school, I plan on attending the University of Missouri on a full ride scholarship for track and field. I'm going to major in agribusiness, and I plan on one day to start my own farm. I hope to take everything that I have learned here at Cahokia with me. Thank you for your time, and congratulations to you all, the class of 2023. Congratulations, 2023 Cahokia graduates. We are so very proud of you this day and expect great things from you. You have overcome much. You were freshmen when our world turned upside down with the COVID pandemic. You spent most of your sophomore year started staring at a computer screen, or at least pretending to stare at a computer screen. It was difficult and an unexpected time, but you moved forward. You did what you had to do to make it to this day. I charge you to make this a blueprint on how you live your lives. Keep moving forward, no matter what. One of my favorite lines was stated by Sylvester Stallone in one of Rocky films, life is not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. You will find being an adult is not all you dreamed it to be. Challenges and hard decisions await you. One challenge I will spell for you is this, B-I-L-L-S, Bills. Even so, keep moving forward. Friends you thought were there for a lifetime, you will realize were only there for a season. Keep moving forward. People will disappoint you and you will disappoint yourself at times. Keep moving forward. You will make some good decisions, you will make some bad. Don't let a bad decision determine who you are. Learn from it and keep moving forward. Don't get stuck in relationships that are unhealthy or careers that are unfulfilling. Take risks, get uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to leave when you should leave or stay when you should stay. Don't be afraid to let go or let in. Life is an adventure. It is what you make it to be. You can't control the world and control other people, but you can control you. Keep making courageous decisions, one decision at a time. That will move your life forward and make the world better. Congratulations, we are proud of you and excited for you. We are here when you need us. Once a Comanche, always a Comanche. May God keep and bless you. 
Now Jody Jones, 12th grader counselor, will announce scholarship awards and be followed by the national honor sponsor and high school um, instructional coach, Nicole Webb. Thank you. Good evening. I have the pleasure of announcing a few distinguished awards and scholarships. So students, when I call your name, please just stand up. We were lucky enough and blessed enough to have two state scholars this year, Nicholas Deloach and Zyla Nixon. The United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award went to Nicholas Deloach and Haley Tucker. The United States Marine Corps Scholastic Excellence Award, Nicholas Deloach. The United States Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence, Keyshawn Campbell. The Illinois Principal Association Student Leadership Award, Nicholas Deloach and Zyla Nixon. The CFT scholarship in an amount of $3,000, Caden Reeves. <laughs> Elizabeth Morris Memorial Scholarship in $1,000, Haley Tucker. <laughs> Dolores Hausman Manfredini Award in the amount of $1,000, Jordan Fowler. Jim Bird Award in the amount of $200, Haley Tucker. <laughs> Cahokia Student Art Music Scholarship, which is in the amount of $1,900 per semester, $3,800 per year, Anaya Brim. <laughs> Muriel Hartle Scholarship, Haley Tucker. Cahokia Heights Chamber of Commerce Scholarship, $500 sponsored by Cahokia Heights Chamber member group Jarrett Mansion Project in the memory of Loretta Lopino, Keyshawn Lyons. $1,000 scholarship sponsored by Cahokia Heights Chamber membership, Haley Tucker. The Corey Herschler Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,000, Haley Tucker. The Antoine Gallaudet Memorial Award in $1,000 to each student, Haley Tucker, Keyshawn Campbell. Our Mike Matheson Award, there were 10 nominees, so I'd like to call all those so you can stand up. Keyshawn Campbell, Tamaya Connors, Kiara Crawford, Nicholas Deloach, Brooke Mazel, Katriana McKinley, Jamari Ann Mitchell, Caden Reeves, Amaya Rowland, and Haley Tucker. And the winner of that scholarship was Keyshawn Campbell. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the Tehran Armstead Scholarship. He awards each student $1,000. So when I call your name, please come up here. Keyshawn Campbell. Chase Crawford. Nicholas Deloach. Jordan Fowler. Keyshawn Lyons, Jamari Ann Mitchell, Zyla Nixon, Haley Tucker, and Berlante Shegog.
Good evening. The National Honor Society was founded way back in 1921, and the purpose was to create an organization for high school students that rec recognizes and encourages academic achievement and student leadership. It is definitely more than an honor roll, as these students excel in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Each senior member has completed 30 to 60 community service hours over the last two to either their junior year or senior year, 30 hours each, so up to 60 hours. They've also withheld a 3.5 GPA or higher, taken honors courses, indulged in leadership opportunities, along with maintaining an excellent behavior and rapport with staff and students. We would like to give special recognition to the following eight seniors draped in gold cords and gold tassels. All of these students have met the criteria for National Honor Society. When I say your name, students, please stand and remain standing. Zion Cunningham Haynes. Stephanie Dickerson. <laughs> Kelviana Johnson. <laughs> Takaya Johnson. <laughs> Amaya Martin. <laughs> Jamarian Mitchell. <laughs> Mackenzie Palmer. <laughs> and Haley Tucker. Students, we are very thankful for your hard work and the dedication that you have served your class and Cahokia High School. We appreciate the great character and the leadership. So we look forward to hearing about your future successes as well. Everybody, please give them an applause. <laughs> Seniors, you may be seated. Thank you. Now we were here from Cahokia's High School, uh, class of 2023, valedictorian, Nicholas Deloach. <laughs> Followed by a moment we, were, we all have been waiting for, which is Colin of class of 2023, Cahokia's High School graduation. Dear fellow graduates, distinguished faculty, honored guests, and my beloved family and friends, today I stand before you as a valedictorian of our class. It is truly an honor to have been chosen to represent this successful new group of individuals. As we reflect on our journey, we can't help but feel grateful for all the experiences, the challenges, and the opportunities that, I have, brought, that have brought us to this moment. It is time to acknowledge and express gratitude to all of those who have supported us along the way. Welcome families, friends, teachers, staff, and administration to Cahokia High School's Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. First, I'd like to thank my whole family, but especially my mom and dad, for always keeping me focused on my goals. Without their guidance, patient love, patience, love, and understanding, these past four years would have been much more difficult. I have nothing but gratitude for my parents. They instilled in me the importance of having big dreams, taking responsibility for my future, and ensuring that I succeed in all that I do. Additionally, the teachers, coaches, and classmates over the years who have made my high school experience something I'll never forget. Thank you. I also want to express my gratitude to my girlfriend, who has been rock solid support throughout these years. I am grateful. Yeah. 
I am grateful for the coaches and teammates who have helped me grow both as a player and as a person. They have challenged me, challenged me to, be the, to be my best self and at times have pushed me beyond my limits. Thanks to them, I have become more resilient, flexible, determined, and I learned to persevere through all adversity. To Coach Gooden, EJ, Ludock, Millsap, without you, I would never have received the exposure, gained the knowledge, and grown as an athlete. And I wouldn't be on a full ride scholarship to Mizzou to play for football. I am also grateful to my teachers who have dedicated their lives to educate us, to inspire us, and to push us to achieve our full potential. They have invested so much time, effort, and care into our growth and development. Their passion for teaching has helped us become the well-rounded individuals that we are today. Thank you for your dedication to our edu education and for always believing in us. I'd like to read you this quote by John F. Kennedy. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Graduates, I challenge you moving forward, always be grateful for the opportunities you encounter and those that motivate you to work hard. Make the most of your future while also expressing gratitude to those who have helped you along the way. You are never too old to learn and be inspired. You should keep a growth mindset and grow from your mistakes. Failure isn't final. We should never take for granted the people and the experiences that have helped us get to where we are today. Let us take this moment to express our gratitude to those who have, have, who have supported us and helped us along the way. In conclusion, I would like to say thank you. I would like to say that gratitude is the key to happiness and success. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2023. Asia Adams. <laughs> Kendall Bedford, Jr. Anaya Burge. <laughs> Astacia Blount. <laughs> Anaya Brim. Janaya Brown. <laughs> Diamond Brownlee. <laughs> Jerry Butler. Keys 
Sean Campbell. Nigel Cohen. <laughs> Kishela Coleman. Tamaya Connors. That's a long, hard two years, two years ago today, I, was, I was, thought I wouldn't be here. But guess what? We made it, baby! I'm here of here! Class of 2K22, we're here of here! Class of 2K22, we Devante Cox. Jamaje Dantzler. <laughs> Michael Darty. <laughs> Nick. 
Nicholas Deloach Jr. Stephanie Dickerson. Kamina Dugan. Kamaria Duncan. Braylon Edmond. Dijanae Enlow. Jordan Fowler. Dominique Freeman Brannigan. Antoine Gillespie. Montia Given. Omarion Gooden. <laughs> Cheyenne Granger. Deshaun Griffin. Naya Griffin. <laughs> Cody Harlan. <laughs> Dorea Harris. Tramaya Hawkins. <laughs> Brene Houston. <laughs> Lamont Hughes. Omari Jack. Andrelia J. Jalen Jennings. Jayla Jennings. <laughs> Abriana Johnson. <laughs> Alexander Johnson. Angela Johnson.
Deshaun Johnson. Deshaun Johnson. Kelviana Johnson. Keandre Johnson. Orman Johnson. Takaya Johnson. Van Johnson Jr. Lorenzo Johnson Cutler. Jacob Jones. Jalen Jones. Amori Kizark. Dekyron Kaiser. Omaria Lewis. Duran Little. Amija Luster. Keyshawn Lyons. Brooke Mizell. Amaya Martin. Katriana McKinley. Sanaya McWhorter. Carmisha Merriweather. Markaya Miller. Adriana Millsap. Adriana Millsap. Jamorian Mitchell. Daniel Mora. Cheryl Morgan. Samoria Nixon. Zyla Nixon. Rajane Page. Mackenzie Palmer. Nicholas Pennell.
Jayana Pettigrew. Lavelle Cool Jr. Renee Porter. Ayana Pruitt. Deshaun Radley. Caden Reeves. Renaya Rice. Andrea Robinson. Norman Robinson. Kamaya Roper. Jaimani Rogers. Amaya Rowland. Jalen Sally. Kiana Sanders. DeMarco Scott, Jr. Demi Scott. Berlante Shegard. Darielle Smith. Diamond Smith. Sanaya Swigert. Ramona Sykes. Destiny Taylor. Tamaje Taylor. River Tison. Maurice Thompson. Haley Tucker. Khalees Tucker. J. Brianna Walker. Colby Warren. Jeremiah Wilford. Joseph Wilford. 
Brianna Williams. Jamel Williams the second. India Williams. Desire Wilson. <laughs> Destiny Wilson. <laughs> Lazaria Wilson. Shania Wilson. <laughs> Timothy Woodall. Jaquan Wright. Diashe Young. <laughs> Kanaya Clay. Dr. Harvey, I would like to say that the, the class of 2023 has met all requirements by the state of Illinois and are ready to be certified for graduation. Class of 2023, you can turn your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. Get in place. Let's let the staff get in place before you proceed out.